Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Springtime! Wow! Look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly. It's the first day of spring. Wow! There's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben! Ben! Are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. Ah, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes. Some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Eh? What do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages, 
and eggs and bacon. Is there? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look! They're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Still here! We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I, I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh, that's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid 
We'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well. Goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Band. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh. King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. <laughs> So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. The elf band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa! Um Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> what a charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music, and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. <laughs> Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Neat, neat. 
Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's charming, but I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. <laughs> I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh. Let's dance! Oh, 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 oh,